welcome to this week's not so awesome review today we are looking at batman earth one volume two by jeff johns a gary frank john siebel siebel i don't know brad anderson um yeah this this is it is awesome it is really good it is written really well i love the art and let's just get into it why did they put the number one new york times best-selling just stand on the cover it looks a little tacky to me to be honest the cover looks amazing the art is awesome could have done without that but whatever here we have characters are gonna be in it um don't want to get into too many spoilers but i will say what characters are in it but before i get to that uh it's really good go get it if you don't want to hear what might i mean it's not spoilers i will mention things from the first volume which you should read uh, i did a review on it if you guys want to check it out but uh part of it is actually in the description here so that's just a quick warning and one of the villains here you can already tell who it is but yeah uh like i said i'm just gonna say that i'm not gonna actually give spoilers for the story but just a quick little warning uh it says here the dark knight must answer the greatest riddle of all who is batman that makes no sense. Isn't the Dark Knight Batman? Didn't he know who he is? Ah, no, that's just me. Uh, change is coming to Gotham City between the death of Mayor Oswald Cobblepot and the emergence of the Batman. A new dawn has shed its lights on the notoriety, uh, no notoriously dark and corrupt city. New Mayor Jessica Dent and her brother D.A. Harvey Dent have joined with the Dark Knight and Detective Jim Gordon in their crusade against Gotham's crime element. But a new threat rises, one that enjoys playing a simple game of riddles. Answer wrong, you die, answer correctly, and dot, dot, dot. Um, really quick, book does retail for $24.99 US and $28.99 Canadian. Uh, it is hardcover, no paperback yet, but uh, yeah, there's there's no extras in the back in case anyone's wondering. It's just this page and I don't want to lift it because it does kind of show who might be in the next volume, which is really cool. I'm not going to say who, but yeah, uh, Riddler, main villain in this story. We get a lot of uh, Detective Bullock and Gordon kind of doing their thing which is really good their interaction with each other and especially uh bullock's kind of story that's going on through it was, was, was really good um we get the alfred who kicks ass in this one you know he knows how to fight he i think was in the military just like the one from uh, the gotham show but he kicks more ass in this um batman the one you know he in, in earth one Volume 1, we learned that he's not as trained or agile or good as his, uh, I guess, mainstream counterpart. Um, he still has issues. He is better. We can see him jump a building and actually land this time. Unlike the last one where that didn't go so good. And uh, yeah, we we get Harvey Dent in this as a DA. So we introduce him into this universe. His sister as the mayor. Um, and yeah, their story, you know, like all these characters... They all play a, an important part in the story, and I like that. No, nobody is like just there just to be there. Everybody plays their part. Everything comes together in the end, and it's really good. It's really well written, and uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Even the other villain in the cover, which, minor spoiler alert if you can't tell who it is, it is Killer Croc. He is mentioned throughout the thing. We see a newspaper clipping saying Killer Croc uh, on there, but that's like right off in the beginning so and he's on the cover just saying um his story is actually really good it was well, you know this universe is supposed to be grounded in more reality which is hard to say considering there's a you know earth one superman i have not read them but i can't imagine how reality realistic they are i, I will get around to it but we'll see um yeah like i said the only annoyance is that right there but the art which you can see right here looks amazing it's like right first page batman killer croc bruce wayne sorry for the glare of the light uh i forgot i could turn that off actually next time i'll turn that off and we won't have any glare 
um a really awesome picture of batman i mean you can see like i said he doesn't have like those white eyes you can actually see his eyes here which is different um they make a comment about the spandex and stuff so they kind of poke fun a little bit at the uh comic book the older comic book you know they just little references here and there uh we get started off with the main story which is the riddler kind of you know he gives these people a riddle and stuff happens and police are involved batman's involved and yeah uh -huh. pretty obvious what happens next um here we have a courtroom we don't actually see dent for a good while who is actually right here we don't see his face for a good while which is pretty interesting uh we get the department that develops batman's gear but they don't know they're developing it they're like batman or bruce wayne wants this and they're like but he doesn't want this anymore and they're like what why he's like well we're doubling your pay so or more than doubling your pay so and they're like oh okay <laughs> um newspaper for killer croc like i said it's right off in the beginning i'm not going to show anything after this uh but here is some stuff of batman being batman a lot of criminals are afraid of him in this because of what happened in volume one with uh cobblepot they don't know you know who did what but it's reasonable to be scared anyways um i would say the story is really good uh the riddles only one of them i guess was actually two of them i, I kind of guessed two of them so that was you know a thing first one i didn't get at all but yeah uh, it's cool we get to see the riddler develop we get to see a kind of sneak who might be in the next volume hopefully and uh yeah um i'm hoping volume two does not take another year to come out uh we'll see how that goes but if i had to give this a rating i would definitely give it a five out of five scrolls because it was really well written the story was really good i probably could have read it in one sitting if it wasn't for the fact i was reading these just i was just like reading it randomly and then oh i'm gonna go do something else but yeah um it's really good i just just get it if, if you're thinking about it just get it if you haven't read volume one get that read this uh anyways that is my review for batman earth one volume two like i said can be read in one sitting it's not too long has that new york thing but it is really good so definitely check it out if you're a batman fan and uh yeah that's uh my review for this thank you for watching if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more comic reviews unboxings toy reviews and whatever else happens on this channel i don't know and uh yeah thank you for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye